Welcome folks, uh, today we're going to cook a savory dish. Uh, it's made with uh, rice flour, cucumber and a lot of other uh, ingredients. It's called Akhi Roti. Uh, I'm going to be using the cucumber and I'm going to be grating the cucumber. We need about three cucumbers. We've used the skin along with the skin because of the fiber and good health benefits. Uh, we're also going to be mixing the rice flour. I'm going to be using about 12 cups. Uh, I'm also going to be using some salt, half a cup of yogurt, some of the cumin seeds and for the seasoning and flavor uh, I'm using curry leaves, uh, green chilies and grated uh, ginger. You could also use mint leaves for, for extra flavor. I've already mixed the cumin seeds with the grated cucumber. I'm now mixing the salt. Mixing some yogurt. And I'm going to be putting 12 cups of the rice flour. I've added the rice flour and then I'm going to be putting a pinch of the cumin and the coriander powder. Of course, the, the coriander cumin powder is optional. It gives you that extra flavor. Pouring some fresh water to mix the cucumber, the rice flour and other ingredients like this. Mixing it well. So you can knead it for about 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Make sure that everything is mixed well and uniform. The Aki Roti mix is done. I'm going to be flattening it uh, shortly. And I'm going to use some olive oil to flatten it. Just get the onions to let the for flattening the roti, then we like to use the aluminium foil. We're going to pour a little bit of olive oil. Give it a good brush so it can be spread across. And I'm going to be making a ball of the roti. It's a little bit. Mix really well because of the cucumber, it's extra moisture. You have to be easily stretch across the foil to put those lines to it. You need a little bit of oil to be able to transfer it. So I'm going to transfer the acid oil into the oil to it. A little bit of oil oil. It's very good to be able to oil to it. And now I'm going to take the flattened acid oil to mix. been around a minute so I'm going to be slowly removing the foil so you can see that it easily came out. I think the acuity is done now. It's been frying for, for a minute on each side so I'm going to be fashioning this to a plate before I consider it. I'm going to redo the process. I'm going to make another roti. about one scoop, one big scoop of the flour mix. You could see that the Akiroti mix is more damp because of the cucumber, because we like to use more cucumber and less rice flour. That gives that extra, you can save some more calories on that. It becomes automatically a look at the food. It evenly spreads really easily. I just pour a little bit of olive oil. Now the second one, I'm going to put it in the onions color. Before that, I just smear a little bit of olive oil, not too much. The second roti has been cooking for a minute, but it easily peels off. As you can see, you could leave it for about a minute to cook. I've just turned the Akhi roti for about a minute and you can see that the light brown patches all across that gives you the indication that it's well cooked. Make sure it's, it's dried on both sides. You can see that again there's the little brown dots here that gives you the indication that it's cooked. Okay, folks, I'm ready to taste the Akiroti uh, with cucumber, 
Uh, I'm using the lime goju along with that. I'm going to put the recipe of this right down in the description. I'm going to taste it just by itself. It's both crunchy and soft. Perfect texture for, uh, for rotis. So now I'm going to try that with a little bit of lime goju. I could really taste that uh, tinge or that soreness that comes from the lime. 